this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XV! Today, I just thought I'd show the rugged attire that we picked up for Gladio last time. Or lack thereof, as is the case. We also picked up the Genji Blade for him there. Let me see what that looks like there. Yeah, just like it did in the cutscenes there. Now, I also wanted to go back to the regular episode Gladiolus to cover the last two achievements that I had not acquired yet. I wasn't planning on doing it, but I changed my mind. So let's do this first, and then we'll get into episode prompto there. But yeah, I was just looking up stuff for episode prompto and found some stuff uh, relating to the achievements in episode Gladiolus. And it's like, oh, they got all this information here that I didn't know about. So I figured, yeah, let's go for that. And let's see. I want to reduce the, the volume of the voice acting since we've already been through that before. I also want to, or I will, edit out the cutscenes and boss fights. But I want to leave everything else intact. Because it can get pretty disorienting if I'm jumping all over the place in as we're going through the battles and everything like that along the way. But it shouldn't be nearly as long as it was before. And also, let's see, I think there's another option we get going through this now since we've already cleared episode Gladio. I think most of them have... Something new that you can do. Like, yeah, we get Duel Master from the start. So that'll make the boss fights go a little quicker. So, yeah, we'll save up for that. And I'll just skip to when we gain control of Gladio. Okay, there we go. Oh, the Tempering Grounds. I forgot they actually had a name for this place. I had no idea. If you try to walk in the opposite direction... There's just an invisible plot wall preventing you from leaving the place, so you can't go to, like, the world map or Talpa rest area. And first on the agenda, yeah, treasure that I didn't know was there before. Alright, I've got this. Yeah, they trick you like that uh, a few times in this place, really. But otherwise, combat's actually a bit different, though. Because, uh, well, yeah, then score attack. Because, yeah, now we've got core, he's drawing aggro, and everything. And we got a food buff that we can get eventually. But, uh, would be nice, though, if I could actually parry. There we go. I want to keep my rage up as much as I can for, for boss time. But otherwise, you're generally not... Uh, better off, or you are better off, not waiting around for them to give you an attack to parry. Just kill them and move on. There's no points or scoring or anything we need to do here. But yeah, I would like to keep my rage up to about three there, going into the boss fight. So that'll be a lot faster than before. Okay. So then, yeah, let's just kill these guys. Maybe block an attack or two. Let's see, one more. I would like to get more rage, but, well, this'll do. But in any case, okay, there's a couple more treasures that we've got before the Brunsormer, or whatever, however you pronounce the name. I have no idea. Okay, so this one I knew about, but just like all good JRPGs, if you see a waterfall, there's treasure behind it. Yeah. Well, that down isn't the only way to go, apparently. But it is the only way to get the boss time. Whoa. Okay. Defeated the Brunsomer and, case, yeah, got hammered done. by Gilgamesh there. So the okay, so, let's see. What? 
There's a few treasures we can get out here. If I can ever get up there, that would make it even faster. Okay, then I think there's one over here. Let's see, is it... Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, no. Hmm. Ah, there it is. Okay, we got one there. And then over here... That, and I think there's one more before we get that prompt to jump up to the next part. Okay, good, good. Okay, so we got the four, the first four potions anyway. Let's see, next will be a high potion. I think it's on the right side there. Yep, there it is. Kind of hide it a little bit on you there, but there we go. And then there's a couple potions to pick up ahead here. Let's see, was there... No, I... No, that's not it. Oh, wait, hold on. Was there... We can destroy these barrels if you want to. But, uh... No, no, okay. Okay, so we got... Yeah, another potion. And, yeah, what? Oh. I just wasted my pie potion. I forgot about that. Whoops. Okay. Chat time with Core. That too. Okay, that continuing onward then. Uh oh, I think we're turning core into a cup noodle holic. Keep your eyes <laughs> and ears open. Done and done. Well, yeah, that would be the general idea of this place. Or we could fight some of these guys now. But yeah, these guys they go down pretty quickly. Though it would be nice to build up some rage. But otherwise, yeah, we can uh, go a little more on the offense than I was doing in score attack. Yeah, I guess they really want you to use, like, the, all the parry mechanics and everything you got going on here. Ow. Let's try that again. Okay. That works. Okay, then we've got, yeah, potion number two. And there should be a high potion coming up next. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah, you gotta go around here. Okay, very good. And then a phoenix down, soon enough. Got decent rage and valor. Not perfect, but I'll take what I can get. Okay, so this one... Ha-ha! Yeah, right around the corner there. And then a whole bunch of potions to find. Okay, there's one... There's gonna be four for us to find around here. Eventually. These guys will attack me. Great. If not... Then we can just finish them off the old-fashioned way. Oops. I was gonna try and, uh... Parry that. But I guess this guy would rather not do that. Okay, so we got potion number one. Then, let's see. Ah, there it is. Two. Let's see, I thought there was one around... Oh, after uh, these guys. Whoa! Didn't get the parry there in time. Okay, well, if none of you will attack me, then I will attack you, I mean. Ow. Let's try that again, pal. Oh, okay, I guess not. We could do it that way, too. Well, we got a whole bunch of these guys around here. And I can't get my parrying time down here. It would be nice, though, if I could get some, uh... Rage built up or not. Okay, we can skip that part then. But, uh, yeah, potion number three. And then four. Okay. And then a high potion just before the first boss there. Or, well, the second boss. Nergal! Okay, I know it's on. Or, no, it's up here. I know it's on the right side somewhere. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's all of them. 
Okay, so far so good for a 100% collection. I'll skip to after defeating Nergal. Okay, that should be good. Stand tall, for the shield of the king. Let's see. I forget if there was actually treasure in this room. I don't. I don't think so. Thanks for the advice. Bad for the pick me up. D is that like a one up? No. Nah. No, nah, that's another game of yours. Well, you made it out alive. Your first try. Evidently. But many more await you on your road. To okay, the so then let's see. We got a Prepare Phoenix yourself. down. I thought there was another one around here. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Potion number one. And yeah, why don't we uh, rest up here? Might as well take a break. All right, uh, continuing yeah. onward then. So the uh, the other achievement that I haven't gotten yet is picking up all of the columns that are available, and we're going to be getting quite a few of them throughout the whole place. I generally don't like using them because they're just so slow and cumbersome. But for an achievement, okay, yeah, we can we can do that. Well, I hear some enemies rummaging around here. There we go, high potion. Let's see, one more potion before we get to all of the columns. This is another reason why I want to leave in the regular fights. Because, well, I'm going to be using some of them during the regular fights. Okay, let's see. There we are. Okay, then we've got a whole bunch of columns to pick up around here. Let's see. Why don't we grab this one while we're here? But the others are all somewhat closer to each other. Is there an enemy going to attack me? No. Okay, we'll just drop this in. All you got to do is pick up the column. That's it. You don't have to do anything special with them. Or hit anything with them. But uh, I want to get past here. Get all those enemies to show up. And then start going for more columns. Let's see. There should be five of them around here. Yeah, you might as well use columns on enemies that are enraged. There we go. Build up that rage for the next boss. So, you guys gonna attack me or what? Okay, there we go. That's more like it. Although, I do need to build up some valor. So, how about... Pick up this one. Would be nice to have Maelstrom ready to go. Okay. Okay, so that was... What was that? Three or four of them? Something like that. Uh, I know there's another one here, so let's grab that. And drop it. Yeah, you don't need to be in combat to do any of that stuff. And then, let's see. There we go, number five. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was three. I wasn't quite sure. Lost track of it with all the enemies trying to murder me. Okay, then we've got one potion, and there will be another one coming up here before uh, Enkidu shows up. Yeah, I don't quite have enough Valor yet, but my Rage is at least good. I think it's harder to build up Rage than Valor. Okay, around the corner. Yeah, there we go. Another trial chamber. And another yep. chance for the warriors to impart their wisdom. So I'll just uh, skip to the bridge up ahead where we find Enkidu. Alright, took care of the Enkidu. Let's see, that's the way I was, I'm supposed to go. But I don't want to go that way yet. Let's see. Okay, so there's... Yeah, there it is. There's two columns for us to pick up here. I didn't really want to use them during the boss fight because... Well, I wanted to keep my rage high. Okay, so just pick up, drop that one. Yeah, don't even need to be co in combat to pick these up. Not that there's 
any use for them outside of combat, other than for, you know, getting the achievement. Okay, I know there's an item kind of hidden around here. Or maybe that's further up. Let me see. I thought there was like a, a path around here. Something that wasn't really obvious. Hmm. There should be a potion to find here. No, I guess it's further up. I'm... Yeah, I'm misremembering. I must be. I better be. Oh, now I know where this one is. Yeah, it's just in the back here. I'm thinking of another... Probably the bridge later on with the Bandersnatch. I'm pro that's the one I'm probably thinking of. With the other bridge. Yeah, all these... Guys, they kind of blend together there. But, uh, yeah, let's just skip the ceremony there. Look ahead, for the shield of the key must safeguard all the Okay. Well, let's see what we got here. There you go. Yeah, build up that valor. But, uh, might as well kill the small fries. Is anyone going to attack me? Or are you more interested in core? I mean, core is a lot tougher. Probably more problematic. Oh, I went a little too far there. But, uh, okay. Alright, so there should be three columns coming up here. See, the columns are relatively easy to find. But, uh, okay, so we got that. Oh, right. I'm thinking of uh, later on with the Bandersnatch. Now, no, we've got two potions to find. We just got the first one there. Or, no, that was the second one. Five, three, set. Okay, where are you? There you go. That's how it's done. Are you going to attack me or... No, I guess not. Oh, yeah. I forgot. We could do that. <laughs> I've been going through score attack for so long. Might want to build up my rage a little bit. After killing a few of these guys. Yeah, you can build up your rage just by blocking. But if you don't get the parry along with it, then it doesn't build up your rage nearly as much. Okay, yeah, let's just kill the guy before my rage decays too much. Oh. Let's see, I know I saw a treasure back there a moment ago. Let's see. Okay, that's the way I'm supposed to go. Where did it... Ah, there we go. Okay. So we got, yeah, the high potion. And then three. Three columns. Ah, ah, ah. That I really didn't feel like using against those fast enemies there. Kind of strange that they put them here. I mean, against, like, the slower boulettes and the wyverns, I could understand. But, I mean, against humanoid enemies that are relatively easy to parry, not so much. But, all right, we got all that. Let's see. Okay, potion. It's a bunch of uh, items for us to pick up before we get to the next boss. Let's see. No, this isn't... Uh... Okay, so... See, up here, before the decline, or the ramp, there we go. Okay, then a high potion. Let's see. Well, the true king was born by such depravity, evidently. 
Okay, one over here, and then one down below just before the, yep, yeah, the Bandersnatch. For boss time! Okay, took care of all those guys. Let's get a couple columns along the way that I did not feel like using against the Bandersnatch. Man, I lost a lot of rage against one of those boulettes there. Just took me forever to kill them without using the columns there. Okay, so two of those. And here's where the treasure was that I was thinking was earlier. Okay, got that. And then we're going to have three more columns coming up that I'll probably want to use against the boulettes. You know, one of the more annoying sections with them, too, because they're so spread out. Even when you're Although, I do get... Uh, what is it? I do have blindside link strikes, so that can help against the boulettes quite a bit. But, uh, okay. Get a couple hits in there. Toss this one. Then, let's see, we've got number two over here. I think there's also a treasure nearby, but let's do all of the columns first, and then we'll worry about the rest. Nope, it's a little too far away. Okay, drop this one. Let's see, there's one more up ahead here. This one's a little hidden, though. Yeah, right there. Took me a little while to find that one the first time. But uh, let's see if I can make it over there or not. Okay, we can do it that way too. Okay, so we got all those. Let me see. All right, so as far as treasure goes, now I must be thinking of the, the next pillar. Or the second... Well, yeah, the second one, but... Uh, ah, there it is. Okay. Potion number one. There should be number two along the lower path here. There we go. And then, let's see. Okay, a few more treasures before the Demon Wall boss. Or whatever their proper name was. I don't think there's any treasures around here. But, let me double check. Oh, there's actually... I think there's one... Ah, there it is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the high potion. Very good. Rest up while you got the chance. Eventually... Let me just uh, double check around here. I mean, they got all this extra space, but nothing to do with it. I hate it when they do that. They put, like, a conspicuous place where they'll usually hide treasure, but then it's like, oh, not this time. But, uh, okay. Yeah, why don't we rest up here then? Time to take a load off. Okay. Back to the See, class. we got one more potion and a column to pick up. He who protects yeah, why don't we grab that one? Maybe go after one of the the guy with the red cape. Might as well build up some uh, what is it? Some rage while we're at it. But uh, if I could get these guys to attack me, that would make that process a lot faster. Oops, little early on that one. A little late on that one. There we go. Build up that rage so we can break down columns and walls. Or we can do it that way and have almost no rage going into the boss fight. Why not? See, I feel like there's supposed to be something before that, but I'm thinking of uh, the next boss, I'm pretty sure. After this one. Okay. Took 
took care of all those guys. So let's see, we got a couple pillars that we could use here, although I didn't feel that was necessary against the demon wall and the enemies that lie beyond. Let's see, got a treasure over there in a moment. Let's just pick this up. Okay, one more column to go eventually. But, uh, okay, so, high potion. What else do we got? Is there something? No, I'm imagining it. But, uh, okay. So, let's see. Got that. And then the third trial, eventually. Some of these treasures coming up are a little tricky. But easy if you know where they are. Be true. Okay, so we got the deceased. stairs. Not even himself. Let's see. Yeah, coming up right there. And then back around here. Another one. There you go. And before going on to the Iron Giant boss, Humbaba, another high potion. Awesome. Okay, now let's take care of this guy. Alright, took care of Humbaba. Let's see, there is a column around here. After all, maybe. Or maybe it's up ahead. For me to decide. True. Hmm. And the Blade Master is a more formidable foe than any you faced thus far. Let's see, I thought I saw something here. There it is. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell where everything is around here. Hey, hey, all right. At least we got all of the columns this time. Okay, then we should have a couple potions. I think they're up ahead. But let me just double check in the room here. Okay, yeah, I think that's everything. Let's, uh, yeah, move along then. Rest See. Up you got the chance. Nothing here. I'm not even going to bother resting up because there's no more enemies. Until, like, the final boss, which I'm not going to need to do here. Okay, so we've got two potions. You die, have you? You were going to die again. <laughs> you impose, but do not impress. You lack his conviction. Okay, one. And I know there's another one up here. Some 30 years ago. Turning a deaf ear to our wails and wishes. Okay, good. I, I thought I might have missed one at some point, but uh, yeah, we can just uh, skip all that. And then, let's see, back here. Three more treasures. One. There's a Jew in the air. I can let's see. Two. Ready for me. And one more in the back, and we should get the other achievement that I missed. Three? Hey, hey there we go. That, that little delay scared me on that achievement, but, uh, all right, so now we've got everything done in episode Gladiolus, unless I stumble upon something else that I don't know about, and then we'll move on to episode Prompto next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XV. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!